No Chance, Meg sobs as Steven Spielberg refuses her begging for lead role chance to rescue Sussex Brand. The image of the Sussex brand is getting worse than ever when it rejected Dior and Spotify as well as being exposed to consecutive scandals. It seems that Megan is returning to the acting path to save, but she refuses small roles for cameos and greedily aims for bigger roles. It's known that she begged the talented filmmaker Steven to get a lead role, but of course he flatly refused. Experts have just bashed Prince Harry for lacking the forward thinking, let Meghan Markle sit tight and look pretty in royal fold. These claims and admissions about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been made by a royal commentator, Mary Madigan. She started by saying, quote, If she had not met the prince, she'd probably be starring in Hallmark movies and dating some ex-athlete with a knee injury, according to News.au. Instead, she became the most famous woman in the world. This would have been fine, even fun, if she'd just embraced being a royal. She could have spent her life wearing big hats and fighting with her sister-in-law, Kate, but no. She and Harry decided to ditch the royals, and now they are in a strife. Megan can't really return to her average acting career, so what is there to return to? She can't settle for doing a guest spot on Grey's Anatomy, and realistically, I don't think Steven Spielberg is knocking on her $14 million door. So then, what is she left with? As Madigan asked before admitting, the natural choice is that she aligns herself with heaps of luxury brands and makes some cold hard cash by being aspirational. Meg may soon be returning to her acting career, but a glance back at history shows how the royal family's experiences with the entertainment industry means her decision could spark irritation in the royal fold. Meghan and Prince Harry are yet to confirm how they plan to fund their financially independent lives once they have officially stepped away from the royal family. The Duchess of Sussex is said to be interested in returning to acting, and reports have emerged that she is keen on starring in a Disney film or a rom-com. However, Hollywood legend Joan Collins was seen laughing when a reporter asked her this week what she thought of Meghan securing a blockbuster film deal. She then remarked, You've got to be joking. Although the royal family have not commented on the matter, Buckingham Palace has already stepped in to stop Meghan and Harry, commercializing the firm through their Sussex royal brand. Furthermore, based on Prince Edward's disastrous nine-year deliance with the productions industry, a return to acting for Meghan is unlikely to please the royal family. According to Andy Beckett, writing in The Guardian in 2002, Edward's brief career in TV was a royal cock-up, he wrote, over the nine years of its existence, which is a substantial lifespan for an independent production company in the modern television industry, Arden Productions has acquired a uniquely unfortunate reputation. As time has gone on, their incompetence has become more and more obvious. There have been very small examples of vanity TV companies before, but not on this scale. Any company in any industry that have burned through that much shared capital without making a profit would have been closed down by its investors years ago. Mr. Beckett explained, long before Saturday's announcement, the apparent impossibility of a senior member of the royal family making a normal professional living without conflicts of interest, without exploiting their status and connections, without being stifled by their royal obligations, was there on the screen. Edward's company had a range of catastrophes under its belt which contributed to its poor reputation. Most notably, it was the intrusion into Prince William's privacy at St. Andrews University.